So today in BMG Drive, we are playing with two absolutely insane mods. First, we have the Swivel Rock Crawler, and then we're going to be playing with an engine tuner that you can give yourself basically infinite power. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. Okay, so here we are with our first mod. So this is the Swivel D series. Uh, so yeah, it's the rock crawler, but it's got a very unique feature and I was uh, actually advised to check this out several times in my comment section, but look at the rear end of this thing. It's actually on a swivel, so I guess it makes it a little bit better for rock crawling. So you can see we're just easing up here of the back end, staying in contact uh, with the earth. Oh, that is so cool. Look how extreme the swivel can go though. So say if we kind of kick up on this side, actually it'll get a little bit better up here. So yeah, look at that. That's actually really, really cool. Well, let's keep going. We got a really good section up here. And oh man, I wonder if you could turn it over. That's actually a good question. But yeah, uh, we're gonna combine this with another mod. Actually, I'm gonna combine several crawlers with another mod. Uh, there's a mod that we can actually adjust all the base engines and make them really overpowered. You can even add like a VTEC to all of them. And yeah, it's gonna make it to where we can uh, crawl up mountains really, really fast. All right, so here we go. Here's the a little bit more extreme part. Uh, let's try it in high gear. We'll probably have to go down to low. And look at that swivel work. Oh, oh, come on. See if we can get it to grip a little bit. Nope. All right, so here, let's back off real quick. Kick it down into the uh, low range box. All right, let's try going back up here. There we go. Man, that swivel makes crawling so easy. Uh-oh, oh, we got stuck. There it is. Boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> this is cool. Like, could we even do this with the other crawler? Here, let's get the hopper out. Okay, so here's my favorite crawler. This is the uh, the hopper, the one that's default in the game. So, uh, let's see how this thing does. Of course, it's, it feels like it's got a more powerful motor in it, so it's trucking up it a lot easier. But when we get to this part, Man, I feel like that swivel might have saved that D-Series. This one sets uh, definitely, I think, a little bit higher off the ground. At least the suspension's more active. All right, so here we go. Oh, okay, we bounced. All right, let's go down into low. All right, let's pick it up again. Oh, okay, so I don't think you're going to get any better than the, uh, the hopper. Uh, I love this thing. But, you know, the swivel frame is pretty comparable. Uh, it is awesome in the way it works. I almost wonder, is there a more extreme trail we can go up here? Let's keep going up this way. There's uh, some more trails up here. Okay, here we go. Should we try the left side? I hope we got enough power here. I mean, I think there is enough. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, the swivel is working. Uh-oh, oh, oh, we stalled out a little bit. Hold on, hold on. See if we can get it to go to the right. Oh, we're gonna slide. Okay, we might need to conquer up the other way. I mean, we could go backwards. Is that an option? Okay. Oh, it does turn all the way over. How the heck does that even work? Uh, we have broke the swivel. Hold on, can I, can I get it to flip back? I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Holy man. So I think the hopper definitely has an engine advantage here. So we're gonna pull something out. Let's go ahead and go to vehicle configuration. I'm gonna go to additional modification and here it is. LFA's JB mods. So when we enable this, we will get a engine tuner and an option for VTEC. So the engine tuner, uh, we can put it into here. So it's engine values editor. Uh, we can go into the tuning here and look, we have extra options now. We even have an option to roll coal. Watch this. Boom. Oh, actually, where's the exhaust on this thing? Oh, it's a really short exhaust. Yeah, it's uh, puffing out a lot of smoke. I'm pretty sure it might be worse with uh, other motors. But yeah, it's definitely killing the environment slowly. It's fine. So another couple cool things. Uh, we can actually uh, adjust the engine cooling efficiency. By default, it's at 24%, but we can make it go all the way to 300. Uh, you can change the idle RPM, which sure, if you wanted to idle like a Formula One car, uh, you can go 4,000. That probably isn't good for the engine. And then you have your max RPM. You can now kick it up to 10,000 on this engine. And then the max uh, torque, you can adjust it up all the way too. So um, it can handle a lot more. I don't think this is actually going to give it more power. Well, it's got a little bit better pickup, but I think it's gearbox. Is it stuck? Okay, there's second gear, third gear. This actually is working quite well. I would say this is a lot more comparable 
uh, to the hopper motor, except for without the idling at 4,000. That's kind of a extreme. But we need more power. Like, I want to be able to clear the mountain. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe we should try adding a VTEC. Uh, we'll see how much speed we get adding one of those. Hold on. Uh, I'm having fun. Oh, okay. The swivel just went all the way over. I mean, honestly, when you're rock crawling, you're probably not going at extreme speeds. So maybe the swivel isn't something you want if you're trying to shoot up really fast. But on, let's go ahead and put that VTEC in. Now, this thing works for not only like rock crawlers. We can go into high performance street cars and completely edit those too, uh, which we'll do that here in a second. So let's go to stage three adjustable VTEC. So we'll get a new little tuning area here. Uh, so this is the switching point. So right now it's set to 4,000. So here, listen, uh, when I'm gassing, actually we're idling at 4,000. Hold on, let's tune our idle down. So we're gonna bring it down to, I don't know what it default was idling at. Let's just go 1,000. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now if we, uh, we have that VTEC installed. So it kicks in at 4,000. So watch the, uh, watch the RPMs here. So we gas up and uh, actually, it's not as extreme on this engine. I was playing around with it earlier. When it hit that 4,000 switch point on another engine, it instantly just revved it up. It was amazing. Uh, so maybe this is actually what we need. So let's keep it like that. I'll try it with a, uh, another engine here in a minute. Uh, let's go to tuning. We can actually adjust the power. Maybe I just had the power up. Uh, I don't know what this means. Like, let's go with the 1,000 here. Uh, okay, so let's see when we hit that 4,000. Maybe it'll be extreme. No, nope, it still seems the same. Oh, let's see what kind of power we have. Oh, geez, it revs a lot faster. Oh, okay, we're going up through the gears. Might need to switch the gearbox uh, or maybe change the gears out. Oh, okay, the swivel. Uh, here, let's try going up this side. There we go. Uh, here, let's go back up to the high range box. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's see what happens when I get to that 4,000. Oh, yeah, it actually is a lot more uh, visible in the high range, so... Yeah, right when it gets that 4,000, it just shoots up instantly. I don't even really have to do anything. Okay, this is cool. Uh, but I think this is going to be a little bit better for, like, street cars. I mean, this is helping. We definitely have a lot more power going up here, and the swivel is handling it like a charm. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know if we want to go fast with the swivel. Oh, we just hit a tree. Hold on. Still got this. Reverse it. I'm still going to conquer this trail. Okay, there's a chance. Did we break the drive shaft? No, it's still engaging. Something is broken here. Uh, engine is starved of oil. Oh, did we lose the oil pan? Uh, there's a chance that's a thing. All right, let's keep going. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, we flipped it. Okay, so Swivel definitely would highly recommend for like normal crawling, but if you're wanting to shoot up, definitely probably not. Uh, is there any other trails that we can hit? I mean, this right here looks like a trail and a half. Let's try it one more time with the swivel and then we're gonna switch to street vehicles and do some more engine tuning. Okay, here we go. Let's start easing up the hill. Okay, we got this. All right, actually, let's go ahead and go into that low range. Uh, we don't need to turn over here. I don't know if the engine tuning is really helping us in low range. I mean, it's definitely still revving up a lot higher. I feel like the acceleration is better, uh, even in the low range. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. The swivel got caught. Hold on. Let it come back down. That's got to be such a weird sensation when you're, like, actually riding in this thing. And, yeah, it's trying to turn itself over. You would probably, like, sit there and think that you're flipping constantly. Oh, and we crashed. Well, you know what? Nonetheless, very cool mod. Uh, I'm not the best at rock crawling. But it made, you know, maybe towards the first episode, it made me look like I was doing decent there. Uh, definitely go check it out, though. Okay, here we are on the highway. We have the top speed bolide. We might want to test this on a drag strip, but we're going to test it out here first. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, same situation. Just go to your additional modification, and then you can enable the J-beam there. Uh, they do have other uh, VTEX. Uh, I'm assuming some that are just preset. So you have like a stage one, a stage two. Let's go to like a stage two. Uh, the stage three is the adjustable one. So let's go one that's preset here. Uh, let's maybe just get like a normal speed test, see what we got. Uh, so it kicks in. Oh, man. That one definitely kicks in at 4,000. So you kind of have this lag. It's slow. Then boom, it hits that 4,000 RPM mark. Oh, and okay. 
So a stage two VTEC on this car is not a thing. We've got to make it more durable. I mean, you could probably download like an engine that doesn't explode. Actually, it's got to be the default engines. So we got to work it from here. Uh, well, there's some things that we can adjust here. Also, we got to roll coal. So let's go ahead and make its max torque go up all the way. Everything that can handle the cooling that needs to go up all the way too. There we go. All right, let's see if it can handle the stage two now. Huh? Oh man, that acceleration is so extreme. There we go. Holy man. Okay, we have valve train damage. Still can't quite handle it. No. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know why you would give a bolide even more power. I mean, they're already just deadly machines. Um, but, I mean, it's definitely a thing. I think we need to head out to the drag strip. Okay, so I've got one. What if we take the Red Eye Hellcat here and uh, see what kind of speed we can give it? So let's do a, a normal run and then we'll go in and tune the engine. Oh, this thing's already fast. <laughs> this thing doesn't need any additional speed. You know, I need to put drag tires on this. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Got to turn off that traction control because we don't need that. I mean, we probably do need it, but you know, it's fine. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. Okay. Here we go. Got to get through all, I believe it's eight gears. Uh, it seems pretty good. Let's see. What's the speed? Uh, I want to say probably by the end of this, we'll probably be at maybe the 170 range. Uh, 173. By the way, I don't count at the line. I count to where we hit the cliff. That's where I show my top speed. So yeah, 173. So let's go ahead and upgrade the engine. This is so fun. Like I do this stuff in my free time in Beam and G whenever I get mods like this, I love to go in and just tinker with, uh, with the uh, cars. Uh, all right, so here, let's go. Should we put a VTEC? Let's put a VTEC stage one on it. Uh, so let's go VTEC stage one. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a little bit more efficient. I got a couple things we'll do here. And then we uh, should be good to go. All right, here we go. Oh, it is smoking a lot. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Not gonna pass any emissions test anytime soon. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Okay, is the stage one gonna give us a lot more power? Okay, we're already up to 120. Uh, it's gonna be borderline here. I think it will. It's not gonna be a lot, actually. Is it gonna be exact? No, it's probably what? Maybe three or four miles per hour? That wasn't enough. We need more power. Okay, obviously stage one, not enough. Let's go at stage three. Let's do this. Okay, so here we go. We just need the engine to last long enough to get to the end. Like it doesn't have to be a daily driver here. Uh, all right, here we go. And, oh no. What the heck? Okay, it's getting grip. I'm surprised it's getting grip. That is ridiculous. All right, it is overheating. Oh, what the heck? Uh, okay, so is that like the max grip for the tires? As soon as we got to about 210, it actually broke traction and shot to the right. Um, I'm confused. I feel like maybe we do need drag tires out here. We need to be able to take that speed. All right, we have race tires on. Let's give this one more go here. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see if it keeps that traction now. Uh, might need to adjust the gearing. Uh, I want to see this thing hit like 250. Okay, there it goes. It's got the traction now. Uh, 220, come on. All right, 234. Oh, so it didn't blow up. <laughs> I like how that seems like it's an achievement. Okay, so let's go max VTEC power. Uh, if it doesn't grenade before the end of the script, I'm going to be disappointed. Okay, let's see if we can hit that 250. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the traction, it's pulling it to the right. Oh, that sounds ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Oh, it broke traction there. It, oh, was it breaking traction when it shifted? I think we were getting wheel spin when it shifted there. Man, do we have to turn on some sort of traction control here? I think there's a chance we need to. Okay, so it seems like there's different stages of traction control. Let's maybe go with the last one. So it's the drive mode is the, the savage. So I'm assuming it's basically like your sport or your, I don't know, I think the, the chargers just have a sport mode. Uh, maybe there is a drag mode on them. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, see, this just gives us a little bit of extra traction here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's breaking loose. Oh, it can't handle it. It cannot handle that much power. We're getting wheel spin at 180 miles per hour. Okay, the only other solution I can think is drag tires. I thought maybe the race tires were gonna give us enough grip. We need bigger tires. All right, here we go. This is the ultimate setup. We do have nitrous too. Okay, I'm wanting at least 250. Let's see if we can hang on to it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, geez. Okay, it's jumping. Oh, look at that speed. Oh, it's got a pull. Okay, there's 210, 220. There's 230. Uh, 235 seems to be just the limit. I mean, of course, you could put Jado's on it, and then your limit's the world. But man, I was really hoping to hit that 250. You know, I think we've actually proven that we have plenty of power here, but these are two really cool mods uh, that I strongly suggest you guys check out. They're linked down in the description, and you know what? We'll see you guys next time.